last day at Denver Fan Expo 2024. Today should be all merchandising for the most part. We might go to the Clone Wars panel with all the voice actors. We might meet Ella Purnell. We haven't really decided. We did meet up with our friend for lunch. So we're kind of going to see what he wants to do. We either are going to do the panel or we're going to go meet Ella. One of the two. And the rest will be all the merchandising. Let's go experience the last day at Denver Fan Expo. Ben dressed up as Obi-Wan today, so he brought his lightsaber with him. <laughs> it is another gorgeous day out. I'm a little sad that it was such a nice weekend because I wasn't outside to enjoy it. We've been inside the whole time, but let's go in for the last day. That's it, they don't do a premiere, they don't do press, they don't, and because it's expensive to do those things, so it just benignly just kind of, you know, faded, and um, I don't think it got reviewed outside of LA that I'm aware of, and I'm pretty sure it never showed up in New York, I'm in New York, I don't think it, it showed up there. It was interesting, when, and, and I had heard that they wanted to pull the plug on it just before we started, and the producer, came up with another $200,000 to save us. Um, and uh, because they didn't know what they had. You know, they initially agreed to do this movie, but then they came and saw it. And we're... <laughs> 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 yeah, you can imagine, you know, they, they walked in during, I, I, it was probably the time warp or something, you know, and saw all these crazy people doing this stuff. And they, uh, oh, that's... First of all, I think you need to get better organized. I'm sorry, but through the years, it has gotten a little bit disintegrating in your responses. <laughs> I have the difference between the initially and the village. There's much more discipline in your responses. <laughs> now, uh, there's so much creative responses happening that sometimes you can't hear, because I've taken some young'uns to the village, you know, for their indoctrination into the rock culture. <laughs> And um, it's just like almost Tourette's happening. You know, you can't, you can't, with no offense to anyone with Tourette's, but you can't make out sometimes the, what, what the on screen is happening. I notice that all the. <laughs> Everybody that's there has kind of agreed to be welcoming and kind and open-hearted and fun. And once you set that uh, feeling, I think that nobody has come there to do damage. And so I, I, I don't know. Maybe it was just time. Or maybe. <laughs> Colby don't have a line. They're from the boys. I think we have to go up there. We definitely just talked to Valerie and Colby for a good like eight to ten minutes. 
So we were talking with Colby while Valerie was talking with another group of people. I asked her a bunch of questions and then we talked to Colby for a couple minutes after our photo. So I don't know if they have short lines, go up to them because they're more than willing to talk to you for a good chunk of time. They have a couple fudge stands around here and last year we got some and didn't really eat it. So this one girl said hi to me and she pulled me in and I ended up getting truffles instead. And they are so delicious. She gave me five samples and I was like, girl, you're going to give me a full truffle and I'm going to get a stomach ache too. <laughs> but they're pretty good. We came from that way. We were talking with the gentleman at the booth yesterday and he told us that this is actually being pulled by magnets and a bike chain that's underneath it. So it's not running on a track or a battery, it's using a bike chain. Which one? Uh, any of the original series of Gundam. Any of the original series of Gundam. You pick like literally a franchise with thousands of episodes to go watch that. <laughs> okay, no. Um, and if I did, I'd probably only watch the uh, the OZ, uh, OG stuff. So yes. Say again. What's that in English? Oh, never heard of it. You, you back there. D music, outstanding character direction, and it would rhyme with Schnabwish Diva. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, banana fish. Banana fish. <laughs> <coughs> Yowie. Sorry, there's something like that. <laughs> yes. Say again? Legend of the Galactic Hero. Legend of the Galactic Hero. Oh, wow. You owned a laser display before, didn't you? <laughs> it's okay. I'm not judging. Yes. Yu Yu Hakusho. Should I watch the live action? You seem very certain about that. Behind <laughs> him, you. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Sir, I run anime conventions for a living, and I'm from Florida. My life is already a bizarre adventure. <laughs> yes. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Mob Psycho. Is there a number attached to that? Mob Psycho 100. Have you ever noticed how many anime? have one of three things in their title. A number, a color, or the word Tokyo. <laughs> I'm going to start a Kickstarter for my own anime, Pink Tokyo 5000. <laughs> you with the yellow shirt. Hunter Hunter, thank you for not saying X. <laughs> you with the black hair. Fruits basket, qualifying question, which one? Speak up. Either. I'm back, that's dramatic as heck. Two thousands. Two thousands? Wuss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh. Don't, you don't raise your hand. That the person who called that has to answer. Do you know what that is? Yeah. What is it? Not you. The person with the wings was called on. So normally this is easy, we have a microphone in the middle of the room. 2000, wuss. <laughs>
Let's go for... Cowboy Bebop is correct. You get two tickets. 80s, sir. All right, we'll give you an 80s one. Here we go. Okay, Ben and Matt stayed a little bit longer in there. I'm going to go use the restroom and head to the animation panel. So it has Jim Cummings, Billy West, Butch Hartman, and one other gentleman. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. It's been a crazy weekend, I would imagine, for both of you. Yes, it's amazing. You guys have all been incredible. Thank you so much. What an incredible convention. Yeah, that's so true. Nice place you got here. And, uh, and, and that's, yeah, he goes, he's the guy that does all those cartoon voices, you know, like that. The Tasmanian and the, and the Bugs Bunny and the Daffy Duck and the, you know the Sylvester with the spit and I, and I said oh oh really and I remember thinking uh, <laughs> and I was five years old I was thinking well he doesn't have to stand in the corner for being weird <laughs> so so I'll do that <laughs> and so I did that <laughs> and I get to hang out with you guys right. Cartoons, and so it's strange. You know, Seventy Sam. I was always trying to do him. George. You know, I, I loved all these characters, and I was always doing impersonations. And my dad had a tape recorder. That's back in the old days before the Kaiser who we were fighting. Uh, no, no, we had, we had a, a, a my dad had a tape machine, and I used to. He loved to tape things, and I would record uh, different things off the radio, off the TV. And I was a latchkey kid, so I. Really had fun just making my own little shows. I was here to be able to just kind of let loose and talk about my, my real voice. <laughs> hey, that's right, that's right. I can't, can't tell you. Uh, no, I just, oh gosh, I love uh, being all over the place. I, sometimes I like exploring higher pitch voices that people don't realize. I enjoy that very much. Um, yeah, just like doing as much range as possible. That's my kind of thing. I love that. For me, I'm just a... Uh, a colossal failure. I wanted to be a mime. <laughs> so it's a tough, tough, uh, tough to come up with a good answer for you. I'd have to make something up. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I once, I, I, you know, I lived in New Orleans for a long time, and there were a lot of street performers uh, on the street, and, and some of them were just great, and some of them were just like, what the hell are you doing? You know? And uh, I thought, one thing that one shtick that I he won't let me. I, so, uh, you know, no. Jeez, I don't know what do you think. Um, I've always been interested in just the, the ones that you know are. I, I'd love to try like although when you say like the Joker, right? They've done so many great jobs on the Joker. What else can you you know? What you have what they have already? It's so great. I'd love to play around with the Joker or Batman or Superman. These are things I don't normally am not known for, but I'd love to try. Also, one I haven't heard yet. I'd like to do something completely different. You know what I mean? Like a shapeshifter or something that's just like, we, we come up with a new voice. You know what I mean? That's what I'd like, what I haven't heard. Yeah, for me, I, I, I had my heart set on being Marge Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Miserable failure. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> Sorry to remind you, I think you would look- One time I was close to getting bugged in an alley, and I turned around and I went, wait, 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 I got to do And then it went like hell. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of cool, by the way. Would you like to that? You do that. I did a very similar thing. I, um, uh, in Venice, uh, yeah, many years ago where it was her name, so Venice Beach, and I remember just walking down 
this, I knew I saw people looking at me, you know, like, I knew there was a shady kind of situation. Was it your parole officer, though? <laughs> no, 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 not this time. It's not this time. And I just remember I did the whole, like, <laughs> you know, and I just remember people just being like, okay, that's it. He's one of us. So we are, uh, Look, we loved it. We, I, I pinched myself to be part of the Star Trek world. There's even a Tattashore 9 planet. I can't believe it. I'm, yeah, no, I can't believe it. So we miss it. I mean, we're, we're sad, but we also feel like, hey, we, we, we really did our best and, and feel good about the show. And, you know, the original Star Trek was only, the original series was only five series. So, you know, it's, uh, I mean, five seasons, sorry. And uh, so... are starting to take things down. We got about 10 minutes left in the show and then it is over today. They turned off the show lights. Time to head home. There was a vendor that wanted to stop selling lounge flies. I just think they weren't flowing as fast as he wanted them to. So yesterday I bought one for $40. It was the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs one. Today he was trying to give them away for even more. So he offered me 30. For another snow white one so i bought two lounge flies for the price of one that is a wrap on denver fan expo 2024 thank you to everyone who followed along with all four videos i loved seeing your comments and you know saying you couldn't attend so you were kind of happy that i was kind of covering some of it it made me feel really good and feel like i was doing it for a purpose so thank you so much to everyone who watched keep an eye open i'm not 100 sure what kind of my next content will be but keep an eye open there will be lots coming over the rest of the summer Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.